Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome to Choose Adventure California Style. Today, let's explore Point Reyes National Seashore. Good morning. Can you hear me? More importantly, can you see me? Our first stop is here in the town of Iverness, and this is the SS Point Reyes. The SS Point Reyes was built in 1944 as a World War II launch boat. It carried soldiers to the port in the bay. It was then used as a salmon fishing boat. I can't salmon? S salmon. It was then used as a salmon fishing boat. So somebody way later down the line, they bought it in the hopes to restore it, but they never did. People wanted it out of here. Uh, however, it's a photographer's dream. They come out here all the time. So the photographers, they fought to keep the boat here and they won. And then at some point, the story goes that there was some photographers that thought it would be a great idea to uh, put some fireworks or some fire or something to kind of jazz up the pictures they were taking of the boat and uh, they ended up catching the boat on fire so it's been even more damaged because of the fire but it was put out and uh, still sitting here only about five minutes away from the shipwreck is here the cypress tunnel these cypress trees were planted in 1930 and at the end of it is the historic rca Morse code station. Let's go check it out. Coming to the end of the Cypress Tunnel is the California Exotic Plant Management Team Shop. Looks like it's been out of business for quite some time. This building was constructed in 1930 as the receive site for the RCA Trans-Pacific Radio Service, which continued until 1973. KPH continued operation from this site until the station closed in 1997. In 1999, the Maritime Radio Historical Society, in cooperation with the Point Reyes National Seashore, began the restoration of the station. Today, KPH is the only remaining Morse code radio station of its type in the world. It is on the air every Saturday providing telegram, press, and weather service to ships at sea. So we are here on February 4th, 2022. Uh, I actually was worried it was going to be busy. So far, we've seen like one other car, that's it. It's just us out here. This is also our first time here, so very beautiful. On our way to the next location, the lighthouse, uh, we pulled over and I saw this little overlook, so let's check it out. It says it's one of the many sea lion overlooks here. I want to stay on the island, because it sure does seem like we're on an island. Ew. I don't see any sea lions, but these views are unbelievable. All right, this is definitely a cool pit stop, but onto the lighthouse. We're here at the South Beach Overlook. You can, you can hear coyotes in the distance. Listen, I don't know if you can hear them. Probably not. We're hiking up to the lighthouse right now. It's 0.4 miles to get from the lighthouse. And you got beautiful South Beach Overlook along the way. Okay, so so far there are bathrooms everywhere here at Point Reyes, so FYI. So for reference, there's Half Moon Bay, Pacifica, San Francisco, boom, there's where we're at. And then Bodega Bay is way up there. And the Fairlawn Islands are right out there. It's where all the great white sharks hang out. They do a bunch of great white shark research out there. There's a California gray whale skull. 
Oh no. Darn it. We can't go down. There's the lighthouse. Built in 1870 and on the National Registry of Historic Places, there it is, Point Reyes Lighthouse. There are also, if you see these steps right here, there's 313 steps down. Yeah, it says right here, climbing those stairs, the equivalent of climbing a 30-story building. I was really looking forward to it. Here's parking for the lighthouse, by the way. I don't think I said that in the beginning. Nice little parking area and more bathrooms. And so far, everything in here is free. We haven't had to pay for anything, so. Yeah, or in my backpack. <laughs> I think you get the feeling you're on an island because you're just surrounded by the Pacific Ocean everywhere you go. On the way to Chimney Rock, we're going to stop off at the Elephant Seal Overlook. So if you come out here, definitely bring binoculars or a good lens that you can zoom in on because they're kind of a good ways away and those things make really weird noises. Sounds like Star Wars creatures. So Chimney Rock Trailhead, same parking lot as the Elephant Seal Overlook, the historic lifeboat station, Chimney Rock. Let's go check it out. That's where we came from. There's Lifeboat Station and heading out there in the distance. The map of the trailhead didn't say exactly how far this is. However, it had a little key and I measured with my finger and it looks like it's a little less than a mile just to get here and then a little less than a mile back. feeling you're on an island. I keep saying I'm on an island, but I'm not. But you're just surrounded by water. All right, yeah, I'd say that was probably about three quarters of a mile. Easy to moderate, and uh, let's go head back. Drake's Beach. There is a visitor center is all over the place, but they're all shut down because of COVID right now. Let's go check this beach out. Oh, I see an elephant seal on the beach right over there. Oh, wow. All right, we're going to go check out this elephant seal, but here's some stats right here. Looks like they're in the park. Total females in the park, 1,371. Total males in the park, 217. Let's go check this out. Brittany, show the tooth. That's an elephant seal. Dude. Look at him. Drinking his coffee. So we're staying behind the cones here, but there's some elephant seals just enjoying the day. Oh look, and there's one coming out of the water. You see it? What? Brittany, why did I take my zoom lens off? Look at this one looks big. This guy looks huge.
a spot. Well, there's a few things to do here in Point Reyes. We're gonna wrap it up for this adventure. Make sure you guys are subscribed, comment, share, like. I think I said all this stuff. And with that being said, now go have an adventure of your own.